Hi, this is Gabe with HTP. We're going to go over a couple of beginner mistakes or mistakes that are common to TIG welding along with some mistakes that are common with the machine as far as setup mistakes that happen. Um, again, my name is Gabe. What I do here is I'm one of the technicians here that typically will talk to you as far as troubleshooting whatever concerns you have. So we get a lot of calls on certain issues. Um, today we're going to go over some issues with the 221 that a lot of people have when they try to set up their machine. One concern we typically will get is a lot of people will tell me that they are trying to TIG weld and the moment they light up, the tungsten itself will melt. And one of the number one concerns that we see, or one of the number one issues that we find is that a lot of people mistakenly will put the TIG torch and the ground in the wrong spot. Now, it, a lot of times what happens in your head is that you say this is a ground so it should be a negative. Um, that's not the case with TIG welding. The TIG torch should always be in the negative receptacle and your ground should always be in the positive receptacle and if you have those two switched it will literally burn up your tungsten instantly. One of the other issues that we see is with our starting amperage. So what that means is when you go to hit the foot pedal, the way the machine is set up, you have four amps starting amperage. So it goes from four and depending on the pressure on the foot pedal will increase the amperage. Well, you can actually set your starting amperage to whatever you want. Um, and that would mean if I hit the foot pedal and I have my starting amperage set, at 100 amps, the second I hit the pedal, you get 100 amps. So a lot of calls we'll get is, I go to weld this material, it's thin, but I'm burning right through it, but I only have my amperage set at XXX amperage. So in order to set your starting amperage, you hold down your function button until it displays a number. You see it with air where it says four, all these lights are lit up, so right now, I have 100 amps as far as my starting amperage. That's not the case that we want. We want to have that set at four, and that means it's four amps to start out, and depending on your foot pedal, pressure will increase the amps. You don't want it 100 amps right off the bat. Uh, another common issue is I'm trying to weld AC and when I go to light up and weld on AC it's either melting my tungsten or melting the material. Um, this particular model can go into independent EN versus EP, electrode negative versus electrode positive, which means you can individually adjust the amount that's on it. So that's going to be more of uh, an advanced setting so people that know which way they want so essentially what that does for you is it will narrow the etching zone so the white cleaning action you can actually narrow it and get more penetration or you can get more uh, cleaning action outside of the regular balance so if you notice the AC light is flashing which means I am in the individual mode uh, in order to get out of that you would hold your AC or set AC until it beeps at you and goes solid. Right now I'm in the regular AC mode so now I can set my frequency and set my balance and be good to go. So those are a couple things that we normally see. Uh,
Uh, one other issue is I go to TIG weld and the torch is you know, going on, off, on and off every time I hold the button or the torch down. Uh, a lot of times we see people have your pulse on, which essentially, uh, to oversimplify it, it essentially is shooting bursts of electricity or uh, the welding arc is on at uh, 100 amps and it's going down to let's say 20. So what that does is it cools the well puddle and and then reignites it. And essentially what that does is it helps with distortion and trying to keep the heat out of it. But a lot of times we see uh, the light will be on for beginners. Um, essentially this is gonna be one of your more advanced. And what you wanna do is hold that button down until it's off. And that'll essentially get you welding.